YouTubers, welcome back. Uh, Darren and I have yet again some more self-defense videos for you guys. Uh, the thing we're going to do right now is bear hug, defense, and escape. All right? Bear hug happen anytime. Most of the time it's going to be a big guy grabbing you from the back, either with your arms pinned to the side or under your ribs. Either way, it's a good thing for you. Okay? The person is rel relinquishing their weapons. They, they no longer have hands they strike you with. They're grabbing you. They've committed themselves to holding you. The thing you don't want to do is turn it into a, uh, to a contest of strength uh, because this person is grabbing you because he feels that he's stronger than you. He can control you. Allow him that illusion. That is what's going to put you in a good place right here is making him think that he can just pick you up. All right? What's going to happen? You get bear hugged. Boom. All right? You're going to feel that jolt. People say headbutt. Bam. Headbutt is great. But if he gets headbutted and takes me to the ground, now I have this dude who might, you know, just have a broken nose and get pissed off and keep me in this position, okay? He might have me on the ground locked up and his friends might come and start tap dancing on me. <laughs> then, some people say get into a horse dance. I do like this version, the horse dance. But the problem is, if he's a lot taller than you, he's going to put his weight on you, he's going to lean over. So I get into a horse dance and I start to fall, okay? That's a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm in my, uh, he's bear hugged me, okay? This is going to be the same as the headlock. I'm going to step to the side. So I'm going to step, bam, just like this. I can grab him, do something to secure myself. The head, the hold is pretty much broken. My arm extends. My leg is here on his leg, and I'm just going to fall backwards. Here, elbow him in the nuts. Just start beating the nuts up. Beating them nuts up. Come back. Boom. Elbow to the face. Ground the pound or whatever. Get out of the way. All right? Don't stay down there. Because at that point, you're the aggressor. That's aggravated assault. If you keep lighting them nuts up and go over and... Yeah, exactly. So that's a bad thing. Another way to get out of a bear hug... We will do the horse dance, okay? But the thing is with the horse dance, we're gonna put something a little different into it. Make sure your stance is good. As soon as he puts you in a bear hug, you drop into your stance. Boom! See what's right here? Foot. I'm gonna drop down. Pull here. Knee bar. What I'm doing is I'm cranking his knee. He's caught in here. He's not going anywhere. He tries to fight, pull me into the ground. Go ahead, try. Mm. Nothing's happening. He's locked in, okay? I can keep him here, subdued. Dude, you realize you just bear hugged the wrong person. You fucking up. <laughs> That's what happens. Again, we'll show you one more time. Bear hug, boom. I'm gonna drop into a horse. I want that leg. He trying to hide that leg, that's cool. Pull through. Get him. Here, I'm going to turn. Extend all the way. You can strike him a few times. Do this. I can just pretty much be mean at this point. All different types of grappling is a toe hold right here. Ankle lock. Smack him if you want. Bear hug escape. Thank you for watching. Us.